Okay. Welcome to Let's Not Play. <sighs> I already did this video, but it didn't turn out too good, so I'm gonna do it again. Second take. Uh, today, we're not playing Sunset. Sunset is a game where you clean an apartment during a war or something. You make a choice, maybe. I don't even know if the cleaning mechanics are fun. Maybe they're really cool. I think you can make a really fun game about cleaning windows. Look at Bubbles. Bubbles is a game about cleaning a sink. It's really fun. Maybe the game's not fun. Well, it's not supposed to be fun is what you hear from people. And I had a kind of interesting discussion on Facebook about it. I kind of just yelled my opinion like a dummy. And uh, I think it was the guy who made um, Immortal Defense kind of graciously bounced back. This is uh, another game by the people who made Sunset, and I own it. I'm not buying Sunset. I feel like worst case scenario, they're just a bunch of douchebags. Best case scenario, they're doing this whole thing to try to generate income through some sort of controversy and maybe bait someone sending them a death threat so they can like pull some not all art guys thing. This is, uh, I'm going to use my French voice. French voice is how you say French words when you don't really know how to pronounce French, so you just go, oué, oué, right? So, benoit, you know, wa, right? That's a French noise. Benoit, le toi. Okay? There you go. This is a game where, according to the Steam page, uh, it's for two players, which is accurate, even though you're matched by matchmaking, which I didn't like. Um, so we're gonna pick the lady. And um, you're matched by matchmaking, which was irritating. I thought it would be co-op. I was a little let down because both my friend and I bought it, and we wanted to be, as the game promises, we wanted to pretend to be lovers. And we wanted to pretend to be lovers separated from each other by light years of deep space. But we weren't allowed to do that. So you kind of walk around and touch these things and get chess pieces. Then you go in the house and you talk with your lover and I guess you don't like one another anymore. And then eventually you collect enough chess pieces and the game gives you a gun. Um, and that's kind of it, you know? It does not come with uh, WASD as the default, which is unfortunate. We gotta go back in the house to spawn another chess piece. And we're gonna talk to our boyfriend and talk about wine and smoke cigarettes. Um, so, Sunset didn't do well, I guess. And the studio's shutting down because they don't have any money. And, I mean, we have to simulate because I don't think anyone else is playing this right now. But see, this is, that that pissed me off. That's one thing that pissed me off. Oh, and we're continuing, I guess. Wow, I didn't save my uh, chess pieces from last time. Oh, I didn't put it on the board, so I didn't get to say anything. Alright, yeah, here. This is what I'd do if I was a guy's girlfriend. i just sit and smoke cigarettes. I would be... I would really not be a good girlfriend... Um, so, this is the game, basically, and uh, Sunset. Sunset is a game where you're a maid, and I guess there's a war or something. I watched the video on it. It wasn't a game I even heard about. This game, my friend saw it, and he linked it to me, and it just sounds so, like, wonderfully pretentious, so he gave it a try. And it's a really weird game, and it's kind of neat, you know, and maybe there are endings. I don't know if there is an ending or not. I don't really care.
Je vous connaissais. But, um... So yeah, this is the game. Oh, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, it's not, it's not, I don't know. They, uh... I don't know, man. Like, it didn't do well. And so anyway, I was having a discussion about it on Facebook and whether games need to be fun or not. And I don't know. Like, I think anything can be fun. You know? Like, anything can be a toy if you play with it, right? So it's like any... Anything can be fun. And, uh... You know? That's it. Can I answer that? See, sometimes you can't... Can I put the... Oh, man. Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. But anyway, so yeah, the game didn't do well, and like they're quitting and they're giving up, and who knows why? Who cares? But the point is, like, oh well, do these games fail because gamers are stupid and they smell, or do these games? I wonder if he'll capture that message, or do these probably will? Do these games fail because? uh you know, for a different reason, right? It, should they have done something better? Like, do do I not get it? You know, is it my fault for being just so dumb and smelly? And, uh, you know, who knows, right? I don't think it is my fault. How were two chess pieces on top of one another there? Uh, I think the game probably just failed because nobody wanted to play it. And that's tough, right? Like, your whole life, you do things and no one wants to look at it or care about it, and you try so hard and nobody cares. That's life, right? And it's business, too. And, uh... You know, I, it's, I'm not making a third video, so this is it. But, um, I think this game is, like, kind of, at least has some sort of interesting thing to it. But with Sunset, I don't know, it's not that interesting, it's not abstract enough. Like, if you want to make, like, a really artsy game, and it's gonna have a message, and it's gonna be, like, about literature and stuff, you don't want, you want that game to be abstract, right? Like, Braid, look at Braid. Braid was a really abstract game, I think people were okay with the message. But I don't want to be, like, beaten over the head with a message, where it's like, here is very literal universe, where you're literally getting the launch codes for the nuclear submarine and like this is what it means it's about this and that and it's like oh maybe i'm just too stupid like maybe my iq is literally too low but it just doesn't interest me at all and um this interests me for a second interested me enough to buy it uh oh yeah and you get a gun like you go around collecting chess pieces right and eventually you get a gun and when you get the gun you cannot shoot yourself which um, I thought was really unfair because I wanted to and um, there should be a new chess piece out here, right? Do you have walk more? Okay, let's walk. Let's walk along the beach as we talk. But they, that's kind of it. I, I don't see the issue, I guess. Like, yeah, the studio failed. It happens all the time. Like, I don't think it's any better or worse than the, um, uh, what were they called? Arcane. Those guys getting fucking snatched up by Bethesda, and I don't think there were half as many articles about how Bethesda fucked over Arcane as there were about this studio failing. And, like, I get it, you're a game journalist and your family thinks you're a loser and you want to validate gaming quick, but... You can't just push it forward. Like, people are ready for what they're ready for. And, like, getting mad because a bunch of fucking 14 and 15 and 16 year olds would rather play Halo or Doom than a game where you play, like, a 
black maid in a banana republic and she's trying to help the rebels or whatever like it's like no fucking wonder man like there's no real secret here right it's just so somebody thought reality didn't matter and i mean maybe that's the beauty oh an old radio there we go so maybe that's the beauty of gaming but um I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, it doesn't, I, I don't think it's a head scratcher why this studio uh, doesn't sell many games. You know? Like, are you confused? Like, if you're confused why this stuff doesn't sell, I, I don't know what to tell you. And to me, it's no different than why like, no one sits around going like, oh no, Jurassic Park 4, Jurassic World sold too much, Age of Ultron did too well in the theater, now we truly know movies are dead, and moviegoer attitudes are killing movies because we don't have, like, Savador Dolly or guide to board on the screen of your local theater. And it's like, it's just so hyperbolic, right? But people are saying effectively the same thing about gaming. Like, why isn't Tale of Tales a AAA studio? Why can't Tale of Tales stay solvent? And it's like, well, because they're making shit like this. And while it's perfectly fine to make stuff like this, I'll tell you, this game would have been a lot better if it had fucking co-op. But it was just random matchmaking. And that sucked. Alright? That's all I gotta say.